Hello and good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to our presentation today on Incarnate Word High School, one of the members of the BrainPower Connection. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here and we can go ahead and get started. Uh, welcome to all of you, whether you're joining us on Zoom or joining us on Facebook Live. We're happy to have you all here today. And so we're going to have about a 20 minute presentation today uh, talking about Incarnate Word High School and how to apply as an international student. Um, we're really excited to, to share about that. Um, and we hope if you have any questions, we can tackle those at the end. So just stay tuned and we will go from there. So let's get started. Um, so a little bit about us. We are a small private Catholic day school located in San Antonio, Texas. And I can tell you a little bit more about San Antonio coming up. Um, we are, we have about 400 students um, and we were just a high school. So we are grades nine through 12 and we are a college preparatory school, which means we do expect all of our students to go uh, on to college or university here in the United States or abroad if they choose to. Um, we were founded in 1881 by the Sisters of Charity and we are an all girls school. So that is um, really special. It makes us very unique um, and it makes it so that we have a really empowering atmosphere for young women because of course young women are gonna hold all of the leadership uh, positions on campus. They're gonna run the classroom. They're gonna be able to take all the subjects without fear of distraction, without fear um, of being intimidated or anything like that. Um, and they're gonna be, and they've shown in a lot of research that students that go to all girls schools are more likely to participate in STEM, are more likely to get ahead in the sciences and math. So we've got a lot of benefits on that front. We also have a very unique schedule called the modular schedule. And so what this is, is a chance for you to actually create your own school day. You have your classes and those are scheduled, of course. Um, but then you have open periods called open mods throughout the day. And those are what's really cool because during that time you can choose to do your homework. You can sit in the library and do your homework. You can choose to go and meet with a teacher. Um, and so you can basically have office hours with your teachers if you need help. You can schedule your tests. So you actually get to choose when you take your test. You have like a week time and you can schedule your test whenever you're ready. Um, and so this kind of time management really teaches you how to be successful in college because you have learned to manage your own time. And um, we have a focus on stream. So you may have heard of STEM or STEAM, um, but we like to throw R in there for religion because we are a Catholic school. So basically you have this focus because it's gonna help us create the next generation of women leaders. Uh, we don't know what the biggest job titles are going to be in 2030 or 2040, but we do know that we're going to give our young women the tools that they need to succeed, no matter what the jobs of the future are. Um, and so that's why we're bringing technology into the classroom. We're, retro we're fitting the international technology standards to all of our classrooms um, and all that kind of stuff to make sure that our students, our girls are prepared. And you can see some more statistics about us. We have nice small class sizes. Um, and like I said, we have about 400 students um, and that about 3% of that is international students. So why Incarnate Word? Um, well, I think <laughs> if you've been um, checking the news anytime in the last year, you would know that um, our schools have been through a ton of changes with the COVID-19 pandemic. And we have really shown that we have that innovation and flexibility to succeed. Um, you know, we were able to pivot to remote learning, virtual learning within about a week. Um, when the COVID pandemic hit last year. And we've actually been able to maintain a hybrid program for the entirety of 2021, 2022, or I'm sorry, the 2020, 2021 academic year this year. Um, and that's been through the creativity and the hard work and dedication of our staff and students. Um, so another important thing, and I'll talk about this a little bit more later, is our dual credit options. Um, so these are classes where you can actually take them at the university um, or through a university professor to get college credit before you graduate. So those are really cool. We also offer AP coursework, which also gives you a chance to get college credit through taking the AP test. Um, and they also just give you a, another rigorous, academically challenging option in a lot of subjects. Um, we do offer ESL if you need that support in English learning. Um, we have a specialized teacher for that and it is part of the regular school day. It's free of charge, <laughs> it's included in tuition, um, and it's a great way to kind of improve your skills before you go on to college. Of course, we have a counseling department, uh, counseling, college and career counseling department that's going to help you um, guide you, figure out what's important to you um, when you're looking for colleges, when you're trying to move to that next step. Um, so you're going to get the benefits of all of that as well. There are some benefits to going to high school in Texas specifically as well. So 
basically in Texas, if you attend at least three years of a public high school program, you are eligible for in-state tuition discounts at our public universities, which is things like UT Austin, Texas A&M, um, UT, any of the UT schools, U University of Houston, a lot of these schools you've heard of. And that can be a really big discount. That could be like 50%. So <laughs> that can be a pretty big deal. Um, and the other thing is we have something called the top 10% program. So if you are in that, if you go to high school in Texas, if you were in the top 10% ranking of your graduating class at your school, then you're automatically going to receive admission to University of Texas at Austin and Texas A&M University. So that's a big deal too, because those are competitive schools. <laughs> um, and then the other thing that I mentioned before is that we are a day school. So that means that most of our families they live here locally in San Antonio, but our, and it means we do not have a dormitory. But so our international students actually also live with local families, but they live with host families. So they live with um, families that are found through our home state agencies. And I'll talk about that a little bit more. But what's really special about that is that you get that cultural immersion piece. Um, even while you're attending school, you'll also get the outside of school experience. Um, and then finally, I'll add that we are very safe campuses located in a quiet residential neighborhood. Um, you can see downtown from where we are. You can also see it in my background here downtown San Antonio, um, but we are in a much quieter area, um, a very safe area and neighborhood that I live in as well. Um, so a really beautiful place to live. Okay, and then actually, I think I'm gonna need to fix this real quick so I can show you this video. All right, sorry for that interruption. Okay, and now I wanna show you a short clip um, showing you a little bit of campus so you can see what that looks like and showing you kind of a day in the life of a shamrock. Okay, so that was a little glimpse of campus. Um, and now I'll tell you a little bit about our location in San Antonio, Texas. So we are um, the home of the world famous Riverwalk, uh, a big tourist destination here in the United States, but we are also the seventh largest city in the United States. So we have about 1.5 million people here, quite urban environment with all the amenities that you would expect with that. We've also got nice warm weather because we are located in the far Southern part of the United States. You can see there, um, we are about a two and a half, three hour drive from the Mexican border. Um, and uh, like I said, we've got warm weather, friendly people, and both of those kind of go with the territory. So let's talk a little bit more about Incarnate Word and the courses that we offer. So as I mentioned, we do have a focus on stream and college prep, which means that we have AP courses in all of the core subjects, as well as a number of advanced STEM offerings, things like robotics, anatomy, statistics. Um, and soon we're gonna do an even bigger focus on things like cybersecurity, UX design, some of these items. Um, we're also a great school for the fine arts because A is the A in stream. Um, so we have art, art history, dance, graphic design, uh, traditional fine arts like painting and theater um, and all of those. So we will definitely keep you busy. Um, we also offer four foreign languages, which are French, Japanese, Latin, and Spanish. And then we, of course, have a number of other electives. So those are your core courses, those top ones that I mentioned. But then there's also going to be some extra space in your schedule to take some electives to really pursue your own interests. And that's really special as well. 
And then that's just not all. We also have dual credit programs. And so I mentioned these before um, as a way to earn college credit while you're still in high school. And so there's a lot of benefits to this. The first is that, of course, you get the college credit potentially, um, but you also get the opportunity to learn what a college course is like. So you get that experience um, so that when you open your first syllabus, your first semester of freshman year at whatever university you choose to go to, you already are like, oh yeah, I, I'm familiar with this. This makes sense to me. Um, and you're going to also get used to the level of the curriculum, the level of homework that's expected, the standards that are expected. And so this is all great preparation for college um, and just getting ready. And then it's also going to raise your GPA. So if you're, if you are looking at your weighted GPA, you're going to actually receive additional points in your GPA, just like you would if you were taking AP courses. So it's also a way to bring your GPA up as well. So at Incarnate Word, we actually offer two kinds of dual credit. Um, we offer one uh, through Northeast Lakeview College, which is a local community college here in San Antonio. And so this can be either in person on campus where the professor is gonna come to campus, to our campus and teach you in your normal classroom and online courses. So those are gonna be the two options. Um, and then the other option is to go to the University of the Incarnate Word, which is a four-year college here in San Antonio. And you're gonna actually do on-campus courses in that case. So you're gonna go to the college campus um, with the college professors, with the college students. So you get the actual on-campus experience. So lots of different ways to experience college here at Incarnate Word. And here you can see um, a few examples of some of the schools that our recent graduates from the international program have gone to. Um, a lot of schools like University of Texas at Austin, uh, but a lot of students go to California or Massachusetts or other states. Um, they do very well and we're very proud of all the things that they have achieved. Um, but it's not just about academics, of course, it's also about your activities and your spare time. Um, and we do have 10 top ranked athletic programs for girls and we all play in the TAPS League, which is the largest private school sports league in the country. Um, we have a strong arts, theater and music program, as I've mentioned, and we also have about 25 clubs every year. And the list of clubs varies a little bit because they're student run clubs, which means that the students are actually starting their own clubs um, and leading them. So they're getting leadership experience and getting to pursue their passions and those, we really are proud of them for that. Um, and we also have a, a community that's really rich with tradition. So we have the ring ceremony for the juniors. We have a whole slate of programming for the seniors um, and just a lot of things that really makes a community um, stick together and, and makes you a shamrock. We also have some programs for the international students specifically. Um, and so the, these are a way to help our international students get acclimated to their new city. So we do orientation, we go on field trips throughout the year and that's a really big part of our program too. Um, and they often go with our partner school, St. Anthony, which is why you see some boys in there. And as I mentioned though, you're gonna have full cultural immersion. So you will be living with a host family. You can see one of our host families here with one of our students from Japan. Um, and living with a host family can be a really amazing opportunity for you because this is how you actually learn what an American family lives like. What, what does that actually look like? Um, you get to you know, spend holidays with them. So you're gonna learn about what an American Thanksgiving looks like, American Christmas. It's also going to give you a safe space to ask the questions that you have. You're, you might be really overwhelmed when you get here. You might have culture shock. Um, and that's going to be a safe space for you to talk to them and say, why is this this way? And, and kind of learn a little bit about um, our culture and, and how things work here. It's also a great way to improve your English. <laughs> um, it's also, it's fairly likely that your host family will not speak the native language that you do. Um, so it's a great way to improve your natural language, your casual conversation, some of the stuff that you just aren't going to get in school. Um, so that's a really big piece of it as well. And you're going to live like a local. You're going to know all of the hot spots around town because your host family is going to take you. Um, and you're going to learn about the good restaurants and the good places to go and, and what they like to do. Um, and you're going to learn what it really feels like to be in an American family. And finally, you're going to get that support that you might be missing when you leave your own family at home. And they're going to even still be your family after you leave and go to college and maybe you move to a different city, but you're still going to have that support structure in the United States. Um, and so that can be a really special part of the host family program. So let's talk a little bit about the application process now that you've heard a little bit more about our school. So um, we have some admission requirements. It's completely online. Um, so you'll go over to our website and then you can submit the online application there. And then it's gonna basically send you a checklist. So that checklist is gonna show everything that you need to submit online um, by uploading it into the portal. Uh, 
in order to complete your application. So we're gonna ask for some pretty typical stuff, um, your transcripts, a letter of recommendation from your school. So that could be from a teacher or a principal or a counselor or something like that. We do require an English proficiency score to be submitted. We do not have a minimum cutoff score. We are gonna review it holistically with the rest of your application. And we will accept the TOEFL, the IELTS or the Duolingo English test. We do need some financial documents like a bank statement um, from you, uh, your immunization record, and, um, and then finally, we'll do an interview, and typically that'll be with me or someone else from the admissions office, um, where you get to ask us questions, we can learn, we can get to know you a little bit, um, and that'll usually be about 15 to 20 minutes, and it'll be on Skype or Zoom or WeChat um, or one of those kind of platforms. Finally, there is a $100 application fee, which you can submit directly to our business office. And finally, I just want to talk a little bit about the strange situation that we find ourselves in this year, which is COVID. Um, the main thing I want to just let you know is that it is very important to apply early. <laughs> and why is that? It's because the embassies all over the world are going to be very, very busy this summer. Um, so we want to make sure that you apply early uh, to our school, that we can have plenty of time to go through the process and then send you your visa paperwork so you have plenty of time to apply for your visa. So if you already have a school in mind, if you're thinking about Incarnate Word, go ahead and start on your application now. Um, get that in as soon as you can. You want to also just be kind of keeping an eye on it. Um, there are some places where the visa wait times are three months or more. So it's start, time to start checking <laughs> what the visa wait time is because we're now less than six months until the school starts in August. Um, make sure if you haven't decided on which school you want to go to, still start putting together the documents that you need. Get your transcripts, get your letters of recommendation, get your passport, get all those documents you're going to need um, so that you're ready to apply as soon as you can. We are gonna require that you are up to date on all of your vaccinations. Um, we follow the Texas state vaccination requirements. So I'm happy to send out more information about that. At this time, we do not anticipate that we are going to be requiring the COVID vaccination to be on campus because it's not yet approved for students under 16. Um, so at this point, we don't think so. We'll see what happens. Uh, remember to check airline policies before you leave, well before you leave. So currently to come to the United States, you do need to produce a negative COVID test result within three days of your departure. Um, so you're going to need that. You didn't have to show it to the airline when you get there. Um, so make sure that you've got that on your mind. And then the other thing is that as of right now, we are still requiring students to quarantine for two weeks after they arrive in the United States. So if you look at the program start date on your I-20, your visa paperwork, you want to make sure you're coming two weeks before that. So again, you want to just make sure you're doing all this nice and early so that you have time to do all of it. Okay, excuse me. And here you can see a little bit about our tuition and scholarships. Um, so this is about what it would cost for a single year. Um, and you can see more information about this on our website. Um, and we also do offer some partial scholarships, which I'm happy to talk to you about um, if you wanna send me an email after this. Okay, and that pretty much wraps it up for today. You can contact me using any of the methods you see here on the screen. Um, you can also visit our website to get more information. And we encourage you to follow us on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube um, to see more events like this, to get answers to your questions, and to keep up with us in general. Um, and with that, I'm really glad that you were all able to join me today, and we will be wrapping up. Thank you so much for coming.